I, I think I need to explain how I play 2 base mutant, right? I mean, technically it's not that complicated, but I still think most people don't really understand how the build order works and how it plays out. So I'm gonna show you guys how I play 2 base mutant against both uh, mech and bio, against both common openers. I could even show the third opener, but I think it's more interesting to just see the two basic openers, right? This time I'm going hatch gas pool. In the next replay, I think I'm gonna go pool pool edge gas. It doesn't really matter what order you open. What is important is that you saturate your gas, your minerals, and that you're um, that you get your good stuff up. Of course, if I open with uh, hatch first, I open with four links and then into the double queens. I keep mining gas. One other gas goes into the link speed, and we move on. Keep mining gas, just droning and building overlords right now. I don't want to get supply block, don't want the reaper to do too much damage to me. Lost two links to it, but that's completely fine. Over here I scouted with my overlord and I saw the factory, which is already... Which If I see a factory, I know it's either gonna, going to be hellions or something fun funky like that. So I just get the lair and then double gas. You always need to have a couple links at home because if he attacks me with the um, with the aliens, it gets a bit dangerous. Otherwise, I'm going to send these links across the map to scout. You can always be aggressive with a couple of links, but you just need to be wary of um, aliens when you're doing the defense. So right here, I'm going for the roach one around 3:30. I also took the gas around that time. When I have my base is saturated, I just keep taking gas. I will saturate the minerals though, and when the lair is done, you should have about 200 gas and start that spire. As you can tell, I have a couple links here. My links went across the map, but I'm not sure if they actually killed anything, but it's not that important anyways. My opponent is going for a banshee, the roach one is done, just spreading a bit of creep. You can also tell uh, that I have my overlords positioned, so you can see any attacks, like this one kind of covered this area, now I have creep spread there and this overlord is covering this area so I can always see when my opponent is moving out and I keep being aggressive with my links like this scout right here shows me the cyclones which tells me it's going to be a mech build, I only see one marine, I see cyclones, hellions it doesn't have to be mech 100% like I'm not going to go oh it's mech this is my go to strategy against mech but um, it just, it's just one way to beat mech I also like to go for Swarm of Snyders, but the basic gist of the things are I'm, I have a couple of roaches and links, I'm actually hiding them outside of the scan range. I expected him to scan the naturals and move the roaches and links a little bit to the main to keep them safe. Of course, I also don't want to be uh, want to die to a run by. Right here, you can tell like the cyclone pushes are pretty easy to crush. So if your opponent goes for a push like this one, you just crush it. This guy's by the way at 6.3k MMR Terran, so it's not a I know, it's not a scrub. And right now I'm just throwing up. I made a couple of roaches and I'm going to use the roaches aggressively. I also throw down two evolution chambers as soon as I made my first six mutas. Usually I just go for the six mutas and I always build a couple roaches for safety when the roach one is done. And I also like to build uh, spore crawlers around the time that I have my main and natural saturated. Like at 430 or so. Just so I don't die to liberators or banshees. It's like the little things that really matter. And then I'm just putting on pressure on him with my roaches. It's important that I don't let my roaches die. But um, it's pretty easy to do damage to him. I'm just um, attacking him a little bit with my mutas here. If you played defensive and had a huge army at home, then the roaches wouldn't really do much. But either way, I'm mostly fine. Like if you, ta if you look at the supply, I'm a little bit ahead. And also have more workers. I have an army lead, but the army lead doesn't really matter that much because my mutas are more or less worthless against this force. He also has a couple of tanks, so what I'm focusing on right now is uh, expanding. I'm actually double expanding. And when I have my plus one plus one done, I also got the infestation pit and the hydro den, so I can make the switch to hive. The infestation pit is very important uh, because. With the Hive I can get the Vipers and the Broodlords already have the Spires or the Broodlord is kind of a natural transition. And then when I, I usually have a lot of excess gas because keep in mind I'm mining a lot of gas. Like he's scanning right now. He's like oh shit he already has his third base saturated. The alarm is going off in his head. And um, 
I don't really need to go for Hydras. I could have also gone for Swarmos Snyder's play. Like we saw a lot of Swarmos Snyder's in older in older replays of mine, and I used to play a lot of Swarmos Snyder's, but at the moment I don't really um, play a lot of Swarmos Snyder's. What I usually do is just this, this Road Ravager, and then I go into Hive, and I can make the switch to Ling, Hydra, Ultra, or whatever I want to play against the mech player. I can go for Broodlords if he has no fours. I can go for uh, Ultras if he goes very four heavy and try to bust him through that. Or if he goes four heavy, I can just Road Ravager bust him, which is what we're going to see right here. I'm just moving in. Trying to snap the Liberator, sadly not quite able to. The Mutalists mainly forced a lot of turrets out of him. I'm still harassing with them over here, by the way. They're not really doing that much. And meanwhile, I'm also starting to make links because I realized that he has a very low Hellion count. Without Hellbats, links are very good against mechs, but if he has Hellbats, then the links don't really do that much. So I try to kill the Hellbats whenever I can, just so my links get a little bit more... Um, more worth but it's pretty easy it's one way to beat mech i mean of course if as flash rightfully pointed out in chat if you don't kill the cyclones that easily with the mutas it's a little bit harder but you can still kind of play the same core concept of the roach foreign allows you to safely get to two base mute and what you do after the mutas is up to you if you play against a Hellion build, build the Roach Warren and you're fine. Yes, this is a user tick one. I think this guy's from Russia. But yeah, that is how I open against Hellion OP.